See, disciplined men, they're thinking entirely outside of the box, literally and figuratively. Okay? They're thinking entirely outside of the box. They're thinking about, would you be a good mother? They're thinking about, would you be a good wife? They're thinking about, would you be a good assistant? They're thinking about, would you be a good business partner? Whatever. They're thinking about, would you be a good homemaker? They're thinking about all of this. All of this is going into the disciplined man. Because here's the thing, you guys. When it comes to the disciplined man, they have things to lose. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Will you cooperate? Are you teachable? Are you moldable? Are you enjoyable outside of your sex? Can I have a good time with you on oh, God? Hold on. Oh, 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 oh. Would you cook? Hold on now. I, I feel y'all. I already know. I'm, I'm, I'm at it again. Hold on. Oh, 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 oh. They're thinking about all of this because they have things to lose. Hear me out, baby. Hear your little big sister out, baby. See, a lot of us, we're used to dealing with men that ain't got shit. All he has is dick. Let's just be blunt. Let's be real about it. That's it. That's why his first and only objective is to smash anyway. He ain't got nothing. He can't offer you anything. He can't teach you. He can't provide for you. He can't protect you. All I can do is give you this good dick, baby. That's it. Which is why he's, he doesn't mind giving away the joystick to everybody because that's what he's trying to use. To get in good with you. See, a lot of these men, these males, I should say, that we're used to, they are pulling a lot of the same tactics and antics and techniques that we use on other men, on us as women. See, they're in the same boat as you. Whenever you run into a man that is undisciplined, especially sexually, you got to know this man ain't shit. He ain't got shit to protect. He don't have shit to offer. He ain't about nothing. He ain't building nothing. He has no goals, no vision, no aspiration. And, and so what he's trying to do is pull a you on you, female. Let me distract her with this good dick. Let me distract her with me giving her these orgasms. Let me distract her with my physical, because I ain't got nothing to offer financially, mentally, with this dick. Oh, yeah, I can, I can get into her mind with that. I can get into her emotions with that. But as far as being able to sit down and actually talk and teach, nah, guide. Lead. No, I ain't got that. I ain't got that. But this dick dog can distract you real good to the point to where you feel like I maybe, maybe one day, someday I could do that for you. See, they, they, they're trying to pull a you on you. Hold on. You guilty, King me? King me. Oh, hold on, y'all. King me, let me find out. You've you been over here on, on something like, look, I got this dick. You know, that's about it. King me. Come on now. But see, that's what that's what a male will do if he don't have shit to offer you. You know what I'm saying? But a disciplined man, he actually has things to protect, which is why he's more disciplined in the first place. I'm not just gonna allow any old woman. To come into my life. I'm not just going to allow any old female 
to get access to me in particular ways. You know what I'm saying? So that's why he's really paying the ultimate attention to detail and attention to who you are and what you are about. So I got stuff to protect. I can't just let a bunch of rats and snakes up into my universe, up into my circle, my cipher. Oh, hell no. I can't let anybody up into my world. And man, oh man, is that something that is extremely scary, intimidating, and just mind-boggling. And, and let me say this to you guys. Let me say this to you guys. And y'all, how many likes we got? We better have at least 630 likes. Okay, we got 709 likes. Let me shut my ass up. I ain't gonna say nothing else. Let me say something else, you guys. I gotta drive this home. The irony to it all, as far as men becoming more disciplined in all facets of life, in all areas of life, mentally, physically, emotionally, financially, with men becoming more disciplined. Because these females are realizing that they really don't have much to offer you. Thank you, LG. I'll read that in a second. Because these females don't really have much to offer you in exchange, you're starting to notice a lot of them trying to get you to revert back into the very surface level the very animalistic type of nature. Peep game on that. If you guys will peep game, you're starting to notice due to the rise in more men being men Again, not little boys, not horny little dogs. Because of the rise of more men being men. And females starting to realize, damn, I really don't have much to offer or want to offer. Let me get these men to revert back into the dogs get back into being the lustful Larrys, right? Get back into being very surface level because it's easier for me that way. It doesn't require me to be respectful, submissive, nurturing, loving. It doesn't require me to reciprocate. It doesn't require me to pour back into him. Let me get these men back to the basics because they're evolving too much and too fast. I need you to get back to just looking at my titties and that being enough for you. I need you to get back to um, me throwing that ass back and you've been blinded by the love that you have for my sex. I need you to get back there. Because by you guys becoming more men, that's requiring me to step my game up and be a woman. And that's too much work. Like somebody said earlier in the, in the super chat, a lot of these females today are lazy. This is why they hate me so much. And they hate, they hate women like me so much because we are telling them to step their game up and put in work. We're telling them, if you want a man to do X, Y, and Z, you have to do X, Y, and Z. If you want a man to be X, Y, and Z, you have to be X, Y, and Z for him. They don't like that. That's work. That requires me to do something. That requires me to evolve. That, that requires me to grow. 
to go outside of my comfort zone. I'm lazy. I don't have time to figure out what a man needs and what I got to do to reciprocate and compliment his life and make his life easier and lighten his love. Fuck that. Hell no. Nah. Submission too much fucking work. That requires me to get rid of my damn ego. And I like my ego. That requires me to listen. And I'm the boss. The fuck I listen to a man for? He ain't my daddy. That requires me to respect. And I'll be damned if I bow down to any man. The fuck? That's too much work. So this is why you're starting to notice that the more men are waking up and becoming actual men and not just little lustful Larrys and little horny dogs, women are trying to put y'all right back to sleep. You're starting to see more and more females pop out with porn star quality. You know what I'm saying? And I'm talking about old ass women. We're not talking about young women in their 20s. No, what's my old ass? You should know. Bitch, what are you doing? Like, bitch, I. Oh, I need me a man. See, as you develop and you grow and you evolve, you notice. Certain things have to be put away. Certain things have to be toned down. Let's even use myself as an example. Now, y'all know your little big sister is getting older and I'm evolving, I'm maturing, I'm growing. Shout out to my husband for allowing me to evolve in my divine time. Right? But in my 20s and everything, yeah, I love to, you know, have very revealing attire and I love to, you know, show all certain things and all of that. But as I'm maturing, I'm like, look, you can tone that down. You can cover that up. You can still be sexy, but you don't have to do all of that. Because at the end of the day, you do want people to be able to hear what you're saying. You do want people to be able to connect with you on a level that is outside of how you are able to stimulate them sexually. Even though maybe you did not intend for that, right? But let's be real. We're grown. If you are conducting yourself in a particular manner or if you're presenting yourself in a particular manner, you could be attracting certain attention and energies towards you, even if you don't want that. So, yeah, it can be your quote unquote style. But, hey, let's do something differently, because in, at the end of the day, you really do want people to understand you for who you are as a woman. And not just those nice titties. Not just that nice ways, not just that ass, not just those hips, not just those lips, not just, right? But what you're starting to see is women not do what I've done. They're not trying to mature, evolve, and grow, and tone down, and turn up on the femininity. Turn up on the womanhood. Turn up on the queen shit. No. They're like, look, fuck all of that. Because I don't really have anything to offer a man. Outside of my titties. Outside of my ass. Outside of my lips. Outside of my waist. Outside of my, um, hold on, let me pull it up for you. Let me pull, let me pull it up. Outside of my botch BPL. Ho, ho, ho. Shit, the fuck? The fuck? Uh-uh, I like my box BBL. That's all I got to offer to a man, the fuck? I ain't trying to cover this up. I need these niggas to be dumbed down so they can be distracted by how much I don't have to offer. Right? Hey, Sister George.
So that is what's going on. And that's why I said, unlike myself or, or, or young ladies like me, right? To where we start off with a particular way and as we evolve and we mature and we grow, we start to realize, hold on. Maybe I maybe I do need to get rid of that. Maybe I need to, need to stop doing that. Maybe I need to cover that up. Maybe I need to, you know what I'm saying? Because you're starting to realize I have way more to offer than that. And I want people to be able to connect with me as far as who I am as a human, as a woman, not just me being somebody that is sexually appealing. But these females today, they're realizing, uh-oh, I really don't have anything to offer. So I need to amplify. Hear me up. Hear me out. I need to amplify my sexy. I need to amplify um, my uh, sex appeal, my qualities, whatever, my sexual nature. Y'all laugh. I'm serious. I, I need them to look at this BBL. Cause the fuck, cause I, I, I I'm a real woman's. Come on, Shia, I'm a real woman's. And so, hey, Sister George. And so, like, I, I don't want to tone down. I need to turn this shit up. As a matter of fact, I need to really turn this shit up so that I can get these men dumbed down. This is why you're starting to see an increase in more and more females doing the most. Hell, you can even see it online, right? You can see it more and more even online. So where they're starting to pop out like, uh, you know, with just borderline naked, for real. Like this, this whole time, you guys, and again, I understand we all have to mature. We all have to evolve. We all have to grow. Right? But again, you guys, we get to a particular time in our lives, some shit you know better. Some shit you know you got. You need to stop. You're not in your 20s no more. You're a mother. You know what I'm saying? Whatever the case is. And so now what you're starting to see is these females, they know better. They're mature. They're old enough. They know what's up. And they're popping out like, fuck all of that. We need to get back to the base. We need to get these men back dumbed down. Let me, let me be borderline naked so I can tap into, you know, the, the male nature of, you know, just being animalistic. If I distract him so much with my titties, with my ass, with whatever, then he'll be blinded and distracted by what I really, by what I'm really coming to do. I hope y'all following me. Let me, let me say this. Put a one in the chat if you find your little big sis. See, they beg for so long for you guys to see them for who they really are. Don't just look at my titties. I'm more than my titties. Don't just look at my ass. I'm more than my ass. Now that you guys are doing it, it's like, uh, look at my titties. Because I don't got nothing else. Okay, I see the ones. How my last? Yeah, y'all subscribe. Uh, Uno. And, I, and, and like I'm saying, you guys, you're seeing older women. I'm talking about women older than me. Older than me. Like, uh-oh, I, I really don't got nothing to offer like that. I, but here's the thing. Also, you guys. They didn't really expect you, you guys, to mature the way that you are, you guys are. Right? If I can just call you out, hold on, you guys. If I could just call you out and hold you to a stead or hold you to a fire. I can always just deflect and say, well, the reason why I don't do this and I don't do that is because y'all not doing this and y'all not doing that. Well, the reason why I don't do this is because the men, the men, the men, y'all not disciplined enough. Y'all not serious enough. Y'all got all y'all want to do is fuck. All y'all want to do. 
And now that you guys are not doing that, it's like, uh uh-oh. I didn't think that they would really change. I didn't think that they would really evolve and really mature and really grow. Didn't anticipate that. I anticipated me just being able to throw that in your face without really doing the self-work on myself for the time to where you did mature, evolve, and grow. Me to actually have to offer you something. Let's get this example, y'all. Thank you, uh, Lee. Let's get this, this little corny example. And then I got to get up off of here. I got to cook. Let's say women or fe- let's say females. We don't want to be disrespectful to the women. Shout out to the women. Let's say females had this bank, right? And they said that in the bank, they had a million dollars. I have a million dollars in this bank as a, as a female. And they made the promise of, hey, hey, fellas, if y'all be more disciplined and be more mature and actually become men and start being more providers and more protectors and more leaders and all of that, we'll give y'all access to this a million dollars that we got in our bank. For years and years and years and years, men were like, whatever, bitch. Don't y'all want the million dollars? Well, I would give you the million dollars, but all of y'all, y'all ain't disciplined enough and y'all ain't trying to provide and y'all not trying to protect and y'all not trying to lead. So that's why you can't get my my million dollars. Then one day, men wake up and they say, you know what, y'all? These women been telling us that If we become providers and protectors and leaders and teachers and more disciplined and everything, then we can have access to a million dollars. So the men on a mass scale come together and they then they step their game all the way up and they start being more disciplined. They start being providers. They start being leaders. They start being teachers the whole night. Now the men are like, okay, we're, we're, we're good now. Let's go ahead and open up that bank and give us access to that million dollars. The women like, oh. gulp. Yeah, I mean, you 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 told us in order to qualify for the million dollars, I had to do this. This is I did. We did that. Where's the million? Well, we didn't really think that y'all would ever, you know, really do something different. So, I mean, we really ain't even got the million dollars in there. We was just saying that because... Because y'all thought men would never change. Y'all thought y'all would always be able to point the, the finger and say, men, well, we y'all can we we would do that, but y'all not doing this and y'all not doing that. And the whole time while you was blaming the men, you were not putting up the money. You didn't even have money in the damn bank. You could have been stacking the money in the bank so that when the men did what you asked. You would have something to offer, but y'all were too busy pointing the finger and too busy complaining. You're not holding up your end of the bargain. I hope y'all were able to follow my corny ass analogy. Give up the money. I don't, they don't got it. I was so busy telling you what you need to do. I wasn't doing what I was supposed to do. 
Lord have mercy. Hold on, y'all. Men are more disciplined, and we 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 just we didn't plan for that. 